What's up, everybody? How are we doing today? Another glorious day. Let's go live on Instagram, too, right now. Why not? We're checking it out. I hope you guys are having a really, really nice Monday. And it's weird because all days are Monday. And so I feel like we're just here all the time on Mondays. But I have an announcement today. An announcement I'm happy to be sharing with you guys. I'm excited to be sharing with you guys. Uh, what's up on Instagram? Um, man, I got a thing in the mail today. And unboxing is like supposed to be a thing, right? So we're gonna see what that really means and we're gonna unbox this together today, but I wanna give you a little background on what it is. Um, about two years ago, um, I had the unique privilege to kind of work on a project um, at Loan Depot that would help kind of create a modern lending uh, playbook platform, an education platform that would really help focus and direct our salespeople into new skill sets, into new, a new frame of mind because the world was changing. And in 2018, if you guys remember, I know we have short memories as loan people, but if you if you remember in 2018, um, margin compression was like a real thing. Like it was crushing, it was crushing the mortgage industry. And we have short memories, so we don't like, we don't remember this, but it was happening and it was brutal. And then as you fast forward, into 2020, we now have like the, the refi boom of all refinance booms happening around us amidst a global pandemic with all this craziness happening. And in 2018, I started working on the Modern Lending Playbook. And I spent all, almost a year and a half, maybe a little longer than that, working with some of the best and brightest in mortgage to help define and, and put together a tactical tool that people could use to change their business. Um, and I had a, at the end of that time period, um, I had this major, like, I don't know, moment in time where I was like, I, I need to do something with this um, knowledge. And so um, I started working with some strategic partners and produced a book. I'm really excited about it. Um, and this is it. This is it. This is my first copy shipped to me today. Uh, and I'm going to open it up and we're going to talk about it for a minute. And then I want to share some facts about it because. Um, man, the world's shifting. And right now, in the midst of this global pandemic, when refinance business is falling from the sky to a degree, when we're going into what I believe will be a recession due to the, to the mass economic impact this is having from businesses going out. Hi, Nikki. Nice to see you on Facebook. Um, from businesses going out to small businesses being dramatically impacted, furloughed employees, unemployment at record highs. I mean, I, I just don't know how we're not going into that environment. And then if you look at what the Fed's doing um, and you look at what the government's doing, there is no doubt in my mind that we're going to have a tremendously aggressive interest rate environment for the foreseeable future. Now, what does that mean? I don't know. But I can tell you it's it's at least a year. It's probably more um, just as we navigate this and come through this. And so in this time period, um, it is now more important than ever that we focus on new skills to drive our results forward. We focus on new skills to drive our results forward. It's it's just paramount to me. And, and being sheltered at home, to me, shows no greater proof that we have to build a new skill set. You can't do what you used to do, right? So let's let's dive into it here. Let, let me show you what we got. Let me, let me open this up here real quick. Um, thank you for guys. We are live. YouTube, Instagram, LinkedIn. Let's, uh, let's keep this thing open, huh? Here we go. These are supposed to be easy. They're supposed to make these things easy, right? But it's not very easy, or I'm not very strong. One of those two things. It's probably the latter thing. There it is. There we go. There we go. All right. There it is. Bypassed. A mortgage guide for local mortgage, a modern guide for local mortgage pros left behind by the digital consumer. Um, man, 
This is fun. I need to put this somewhere now. Here, Deadpool can hold it. Tony Stark can hold it. Um, a lot of work went into that baby. 253 pages of blood, sweat, and tears. And in fact, um, it's out for pre-order right now. And uh, I'm, I'm going to show you where you can pre-order it if you're interested. It would be a very cool gift for me. But boom, here it is. Amazon. Look at that. Kindle, paperback. Um, now, before, the, the, before you rush out and pre-order it, please recognize also that um, I don't care if you pre-order it. Uh, if you do, it's wonderful. Um, but I also did an audio, uh, audible book, audio book. Yeah, yeah, I did. And I recorded the entire thing myself. Nothing makes you feel dumber than reading your own book on in, in my podcast studio. Oh my gosh. I just like just struggled through it and it was it was brutal. Hey Ken saying congrats, thank you. Nikki, how awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's 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 a gift. But here's the last part of it. That's um yeah, Michael knows on, on YouTube he's commenting ha 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 about me reading the audiobook because he was producing it and I'm sitting there just like bumping around. Hi Fallon, thank you. Um for the congrats on LinkedIn. But here's the deal. Here's the deal. This book, 20 bucks or eight bucks. I'm, I'm not I'm not taking any of it. I'm not taking any uh, profit from the book at all whatsoever. Zero profit, zero dollars. Every single cent from this book, every single cent is being donated to Freedom Alliance. Now, if you don't know who Freedom Alliance is, they're an incredible organization. I'm gonna share them right now. Um, this, this group I've got to know over the years, these guys, boom, let's check this out. Check it out right there. These guys are incredible nonprofit organizations serving our vets. And I have committed that hundred percent of every single dollar made by the book bypass will go to this organization. Um, for those of you that don't know, um, Melanie is asking what the book's about. I will jump on that in one second. For those of you that don't know Freedom Alliance, um, they absolutely support our veterans um, they have an amazing scholarship fund where the um, survivor, surviving kids of wounded or dead vets get um, money to help them go to school. They provide outdoor adventures for vets who have been wounded or are going through some problems. They do rehab and recovery, gifts and home packages. I mean, they have a heroes to homeowners process. This organization does everything. They love on vets and they're the perfect organization to support in this process. So every single penny um, from the book bypassed is going to go to this amazing organization. So please check them out. Freedom Alliance, love them. They, they do tremendous work for our veterans. And so, uh, and, and the reason I decided to do that was twofold. Number one, um, you know, we, we live in, in this world collectively. And a lot of the stuff that I've compiled in the book um, were absolutely from learnings from, from you guys, from general public. And I acknowledge a lot of people in my acknowledgement section of the book, but it's like, um, and it's also my gift to, to my industry. I, I care. So here's what the book's about. Um, so Melanie, here's what the book's about. In 2018, I saw two trends happening that in my mind were going to be um, catastrophic for the ways that local mortgage professionals did business. Now, I'm not the only person seeing this stuff. I have no crystal ball. There's a lot of geniuses out here. here Jason Frazier, he's another genius. If you're not following Jason, Jason. Um, he, these guys, there's a lot of people seeing the same thing that I'm seeing. And so I'm not I'm not standing on some hill saying like, oh yeah, you know, I, I saw this coming. We all, a lot of us saw this coming. But the two things that were happening that were dramatically affecting local salespeople was first, the move from a, for, from a, uh, a local pro centric model where consumers would go to local professionals to get advice about what they should do to an internet based, to an internet first, you know, world. So, so look at it this way, right? And this is a simple example I've given a ton in real estate. It's very obvious. The multiple listing service was locked down in the early 2000s when I was originating, when a bunch of us were originating, meaning you never knew what was for sale. You had to go to the hot sheets in the newspaper to look to, to scan the open houses or you had to go talk to a realtor and you had to ask them, hey, what's for sale? I want a house in this market. I want this kind of thing. And you could never find it. Well, fast forward now, man, you can see everything that's for sale on the internet in two seconds. And so a customer doesn't have to go to a local professional anymore to get the information they need. They can go on the internet. And that type of bypass, that action of like, I don't need you, I'll go here first, 
is what's causing is what is one of the first stresses that's happening on the local mortgage pro and the local realtor for that matter or the local insurance salesman pick your local service but if there's a local local salespeople that provide a service are being massively impacted by this internet first move the second thing that was coming at the local mortgage off lo local loan officer was the complete digitization of a mortgage and let me explain what that means okay it's not a digital mortgage that everyone thinks it is today there is absolutely remember two by two yes ryan i do remember two by two my <laughs> by the way ryan Perro, one of the one of the best originators in the country um man i have a long history with that guy he's one of the he's one of the best so look the, 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 the first thing is that customers are going internet first and not local pro first. Got it. We all understand that. We see that trend. Understood. The second is the full digitization of mortgages. And, and this is what I mean by this. I fully believe that within a year to two years, like that fast, we are right on the precipice of a customer being able to, to, to do a retinal scan, do a face recognition scan like you do on your phone and have all of their income assets, credit and, and all their entire asset income and credit profile pulled in to a point of sale system and allow for an instantaneous delivery of mortgage options. That's, that's, that's going to happen. Like wake up, like we're building it. Like we're building it. So like, I know it's happening because Lone Depot is building it too. And I'm sure other people are too. So hello. What, what, that, what this means guys is that if you're a loan structuring person, like you're that, that, that skill set's gone. It's washing out with the tide. Secondarily, because a, a computer is going to do it, guys, and and I know that's like, oh no, the computers can't do everything, and I'm like, they can do a lot, and 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 look, optical character recognition is a thing. They're going to read your tax returns. They're going to read your pay stubs. They're going to read your bank statements. They're going to put the numbers in the right spot in the computer, and then the computer's going to clear that condition, and an underwriter's not going to look at it. And if it does involve an exception for a period of time where a real person has to look at it, then that will happen. But the efficiency pickup the scale pickup, the speed pickup, the cost saving pickup, it's all coming. And so if you can't imagine a world where a customer can walk in and do a face scan or a thumbprint and be instantly approved, then, then you're gonna be bypassed. You have a problem because that world's coming. And if that world's coming, what are you doing to prepare for it? When everyone goes to the internet first and everything's digitized, what, what do you do? You get bypassed. So there is a counter opportunity for great local mortgage pros. There is. There is. And you can see people talking about it online all the time. If it is that easy to get your face scanned and to get a mortgage and to get approved for a mortgage, the next obvious question you have to ask is, where are they going to go to get their face scanned? Is it you, the local mortgage guy or gal? Is it the internet? Where are they going to go? And when you realize that question starts to really add clarity to what, to what mortgage pros need to do, they need to become big. And I don't mean big like big company, although there's values in big company. I mean big as in well-known and branded. And they need to have a place of influence and the community around them, digital and local, so that when that customer, because look, I do not believe the internet will take out the consultative value a mortgage professional provides, period. I do not believe a digital process will, will eliminate the consultative process and value that a local pro provides. I do not, there's too many loan programs, there's too much going on. It's not all of a sudden like you can just immediately skip over the fact that there's 300 loan programs and where to go. Yeah, Lisa's microchipped. Well, we're not there yet, but it's coming. Um, but but this is my point. The, the consultative value still exists, but you have to be able to at least have a place in your customer's life where you can explain why your consultative value has value. If you're not, you're bypassed. And that, that, that I think the, art, the, the topic of the book was like the perfect, the, the title was like the perfect fear I see happening with local mortgage pros being bypassed. And so I'm leaning heavily into this space. I know a lot of you guys are too. And uh, again, you can support our industry and our vets by diving on this book as it comes out. Um, it's pre-ordered. The actual launch date is going to be May 28th. And it is, uh, it goes through all the things you can do. 
Um, it starts with brand, it starts to digital market, goes into local marketing. I'm not going to give away all the chapters today. Um, where's my bobblehead, Sam? I know, I know, dude. My bobblehead's in my office. How sad is that? I got to like sneak in and like put it back there, dude. <sighs> so, um, yep, this is the future. And I'm excited to be on this journey. Hold on. My wife's starting to interrupt me. Hi, I'm live. She made me a sad face. So you work at home. This is the life now. Um, but thank you guys. I'm really excited about this. I think it's going to make a big impact. If you want to download the Audible book uh, and listen to me talk to you, it, it'll be hysterical. I'm sure of it. Um, and the last thing as a pro tip, I know we're all trying to survive in these chaotic times. Um, a friend shared this with me, so I'm going to pass it on to you guys. This is just one of those things that I think we all have to know. Um, as we do more and more digital consultations, digital Zoom calls, you know, client video calls, um, it's become more and more obvious to me that we need to have some levity in our life. And so this is called SnapCam. And yes, if you're on Instagram, you can't see this, but this is it. This is the life. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, now you do. I'm serious. This has got to be my favorite one right here. <laughs> Ooh, snap cam oh my gosh it this it, this is this is the life so thank you guys for tuning in i appreciate it if you go pick up a person a bypass you can't even see it with the dancing things uh just know that it's going to a really good cause it's going to support every single cent of bypassed is going to support the freedom alliance organization i will include more links about them so you can get to know them more but man, um, this snap cam, this is it. This is, this is the life. I hope you guys enjoy being a potato or a banana or whatever it takes, you know, whatever, whatever you really want to be. But I appreciate you guys. I hope you have a safe and wonderful day. Don't run out of toilet paper. Get all stocked up. And I'll see you guys on the internet another time. Here you go. Bypassed. Amazon, Barnes and Noble, audiobook on its way, May 28th. See ya. <laughs> oh man. Look, he's got a little mustache. Taylor's got a mustache. Appreciate you guys.